So this is the 2016 Dodge uh, Charger SXT. It's the uh, V6 all-wheel drive version of it. Um, we have a Dart that is currently in the shop, and this was the replacement that they gave for us. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a quick little review on it. Um, you can't really tell by the way it looks outside because it looks like it's fall, but it is winter. There was snow on the road um, just last week. So this thing gets around in the snow pretty well. Um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you kind of how it, uh, the acceleration on it here in a bit. Um, it handles pretty well through turns for like such a you know huge car but well, it gets decent gas mileage probably somewhere I think like 18 is the like rated city and then I think somewhere like 28 or so is the rated highway I've been getting probably about like mid no nah, not mid I'd say low 20s like 20 22 miles per gallon or so and that's not like beating it to piss or anything but interior is relatively nice I'm sure this is the base model since it is just a rental car um there's no backup camera I'm guessing that's probably an option you could get but interior is all right it's like kind of a it's not really leather it's kind of like a fabric material it's all right um the touchscreen is really nice it's the same one that we have in our dart um, you play like you know songs off your phone and everything speakers sound decent um, you get the like little sh uh, shifter there um, you're supposed to be able to slap shift it um, I don't think it's not responsive enough in my opinion t you know at least on the v6 model to be like truly a sportier uh, sportier car in a sport mode but you know it, it's still there it's kind of fun um, here's the gauges pretty simple you could change it there's miles per hour you could go through all that stuff view your messages on your phone all that good stuff look at information about the car fuel economy vehicle info and whatnot i just leave it on speedometer but yeah you can see there's you know fairly good amount of room in the car i sit relatively close up um i'm fine i'm six foot two i mean it's a spacious car compared to what i drive i drive a Miata so <laughs> quite quite a lot more space compared to Miata I can go ahead and uh, get out here and I'll give you a little walk around of the car kind of see the car it looks relatively aggressive for a four-door um, there's not really many rear-wheel drive full-size uh, four-door cars made right now so this is kind of your option um, I guess it's all-wheel drive not rear-wheel drive but you can see it looks pretty good it looks really mean in the uh, nighttime with the headlights that they have on you can kind of see it a little bit maybe see they got the headlight on and then it's got the trim around it that makes it look really mean we'll go ahead and walk around here it's not too aggressive a styling but enough to look sporty still you can see from the back it looks pretty good it's got the uh, lights that go all the way across um, it's really quiet doesn't I mean obviously it's a rental car has a stock exhaust and everything super quiet but we'll go ahead and uh, get in it real quick and here if you guys wanted to look at the back seat I just thought I'd throw this in here real quick you can see there is some room back here and I'm full-size adult a little bit on the bigger side I am perfectly fine uh, my head does hit up here though the ceiling see head hits the ceiling hopefully you're seeing that but I mean as far as leg room completely fine you could easily fit three people in here relatively comfortably you got a couple USB chargers back here um, I mean you know basic basic back seats alright so I thought I'd give you a view of like what the rear view mirror looks like um, that is one of my complaints on the car uh, you could kind of see it there I'm trying to give you a view a good view but um, it's got relatively big pillars so you got kind of got like a decent blind spot there and the windows kind of tiny you got the headrest in the way I mean it's definitely not the worst car I've driven but it is something that would kind of knock off a few points for there now as far as daily driving this goes um, is like a little like cruiser thing you know not really getting on it or anything it handles it really nicely but if you're looking for something a little bit sportier I really highly recommend going toward the V8 uh, model this thing like the lag is ridiculous if you're like trying to take off hard um, and it's a heavier car I mean like th these v6s make I don't know two I think 280 300 ish like I'm pretty sure it's low or high 200 horsepower and it's enough to like kind of put you back in your seat but I mean it's not you know it's I wouldn't really call it fast yet I have no idea what the quarter mile on these are but I'm gonna guess not very fast since they weigh close to 4,000 pounds um, <laughs> I think the 
car is warmed up a little bit here. Not all the way warm, but it's okay. It's a rental. I don't really care. So I'll go ahead and we will give it some gas coming out of here. Take it easy and then floor it. That was floor to almost 50 or so. Um, it's kind of delayed when you go to take off. This isn't the greatest handling car of all time, but I guess when I uh, saw it, or saw these on the road, I always thought it'd be pretty atrocious, but it's actually not too bad. Um, I mean, it's a bigger car, so it's not gonna handle perfect, but we're going, right now, we're going like 15 over the speed limit, and I mean, there's no problem at all. I'm not really being thrown around a ton or anything. It rides pretty smooth here. The one thing I'd be afraid of if you were looking at this is reliability, because Dodge is always, I don't know, not always, I should say, but as of recently, has kind of had, I don't know, they've had problems with the reliability of their cars. It's not like engine-wise necessary, but like I've always had like a lot of problems with their electronics in their cars. Uh, my dad owned a Jeep Cherokee, um, or not Jeep Cherokee, excuse me, Jeep Liberty, and that thing had so many electrical problems. It was in the shop probably once every like three or four months. Uh, my mom's darts the same way. Um, she's owned it for three years, has been down the shop for like six times for that touch screen going out and then the speedometer thing or like the little like screen here going out too. And it is very, very annoying to have a new three year old car be doing that all the time. Um, I don't know, we could have just got lemons, but I've kind of heard from other people that I've talked to, at least Dodge tends to be the manufacturer with the most problems. I don't really know a lot of people that uh, own a newer Chevys or Fords that are having all these electrical issues. I don't know, like I said, if we just happen to get two lemons, but I don't know. I mean, this seems to be fine. I mean, I've this already has 36,000 miles on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Almost 36,000 miles. And it handles relatively nicely and drives fine and like, I mean, I'm sure it's been beat on a little bit. It's a rental car. Uh, but I haven't had any issues with it, and I think it's a nice little car to consider. Um, I don't know if I'd buy a brand new one for the money because there's other options too, especially if you're looking for something to save money. But if you're looking for an American car and that, that has room and gets relatively decent gas mileage, the V6 Charger is a great option. Handles fantastic. At least all-wheel drive one gets around in snow extremely well. Um... I mean, I've only driven it for a week, so this isn't a long-term review anyways, but I really do enjoy the car for the week that I've owned it.